So what do you do when the market goes against you or the stock goes against you? You've got to defend your position. In this video, which is actually an excerpt from my course called The Cash Flow Machine, we teach you how to defend your position in the event that the market goes against you or the stock goes against you. So stay tuned. It's a good video and there's a lot in it. So pay attention. There are times when you need to defend your position. And so there are times to make trade adjustments. And I always look at trade adjustments as opportunities. And I'm going to show you why. So there's a couple of times where you need to defend your position and use strategies of trade adjustment. One of those is the 75% to 80% rule. That's available in another one of these videos and modules. And that's an important one. When you're up 75% to 80% and you have more than one or two days left on your option, you can go ahead and roll it. That is a great rule for having some discipline because chances are if you're already up 75% on your option, it's you're not going to make too much more and you could probably still get a good amount of juice if you roll it to the next week. So that is one way to handle uh, a trade adjustment. Now, there are also times where the stock starts to drop below your strike price and it starts to do it in a significant fashion, like there's a downtrend going on that you didn't anticipate or the markets are dropping. And that's not the only time. Sometimes the stock just drops and it starts to threaten your strike price. And we always want to be in the money. I mean, anytime we can be in the money in the cash flow machine, that's really what this is all about. And the reason is that's where we have protection. If we go below the money, the only protection that we have at that point is the juice. And if the juice is getting squeezed out as we go to Friday, we're not going to have as much protection as if we have, uh, you know, some kind of in the money amount. So we want to do this concept of defending our position. Your brain is going to say, no, I don't want to defend it. It'll come back. That's the natural thing that you say when a stock drops. It'll come back. And then if it comes back and I'm selling at a lower price, I'm locking in a lower call, you know, cost and I'm going to lose money and all these kinds of things. Let me show you why that doesn't really work in the cash flow machine. Remember how I've always said there's a different mentality in the cash flow machine than any other kind of trading. So you have to kind of unscramble your brain and put it back in and realize that we're just in it for the juice. We're not in it for whatever the underlying position does or anything like that. As long as that stock stays viable, we want to just collect the juice. The main thing is the juice. But remember, before we collect the juice, we have to protect the account. Protection comes first, juice comes second. This concept is called defending your position. The stocks go up, stocks go down, stocks go sideways. When stocks go up and stocks stay sideways, we don't really have to do anything. But when they go down, we have to defend our position. So let's look at some of the some of the interesting things. Most people think there's two sides to every coin. There's actually three. There's the heads, there's the tails, and there's the edge. The heads, let's call it the stock goes up. Tails, the stock goes down. And then the edge, you can see there's an edge here. Edge is where we have uh, the ability to collect the juice in the cash flow machine. That's our edge, okay? So we're using the juice as the edge. Now, let's look at it statistically. 50% of the time, the stock's going to go up, let's say. And, you know, if we catch a trend, that's going to skew in our favor a bit. But, you know, on average, the stocks go up 50% of the time. And then they go down 50% of the time. But we always collect the juice, the risk in the cash flow machine is that the stock moves down. So you can see the stock moves up or stays sideways, we don't have much risk. But if the stock moves down, we got to do something. So if the stock goes up and, side, you know, and sideways, there's not much that we have to do. But when the stock starts to go down, this is where we step in and defend our position. Now remember, the edge is that we collect the juice every week or every month or every regular period of time. We want to just be collecting the juice. We don't really care much what the stock is doing, but we need to defend when the stock goes against us. So there's only significant risk to the downside on the cash flow machine. The upside, you know, two thirds of the time it's going to stay sideways or go up and we're okay. But that one third of the time that starts to go down and it goes down below our strike, that's when we have to defend our position. And that's what this is all about. So let's talk about that. So let's say we have XYZ stock and it's trading at $500 per share. Nice round number, big number, right? And you had sold the 490 calls and you got $5 worth of juice. So you got $10 of protection because they're 490. So you got in the money amount is $10. And then you got $5 worth of juice. Okay, so you totally got $15. Now, if the stock goes down to 495, it's still above the strike. There's not much you really need to do, but you need to keep an eye on it. Set an alert, do whatever, but make sure that you're watching it because it's starting to threaten that 
that 490 strike price. You don't want it to get below that too much. If the stock goes below below 490, that's where you need to spring into action. And hopefully it doesn't gap down below 490. That's what this doesn't cover is if it gaps down. But still, you're going to get the option, you get the concept here when we talk about it because if the stock goes down below 490, you have the ability to take action. What you should do at the 490s is consider rolling to the 480s. You buy back your 490s and you roll to the 480s and you pick up another $5 of juice and you get another $10 worth of protection because you got the 480s. And if the stock's at 490, you got $10 worth of protection and you're, let, you're gonna pick up, let's say, $5 of juice. Here's the math on that. You buy back the 490s, you know, because there's no protection cost any, there's no more in the money amount. You don't pay anything for that. There's just some juice left and maybe the juice is $2. Now, you're going to net out $13. The main thing here is that we care about the juice. We made a bunch of money on the juice. We made 3 bucks. So that's how much money we made, and the stock went down $10. Okay, well, you can look at it like, well, let's, and if you look at it holistically, you go, well, my underlying position went down $10, so that's not very good. But if you can kind of take away your underlying position, because if the stock stays viable, that underlying position is going to fluctuate all year long anyway, and if you worry about it every day, you're not going to get really a good accounting of what the math is in this system. We care about the juice. You know that now. So if the stock continues lower, then we do it again. The only time that we're not protected, like I just mentioned, is a big old gap down where that stock opens down $40 instead of going down fairly gradually, you know, day by day, uh, a few dollars at a time. Here's the math. The initial position is now the 490s or was the 490s, you sold for 15, you bought back for $2, you got a $13 profit. Or you can look at it like this. You lost $15 on your base position, but you gained $13 on your top position and you lost $2 overall. I don't recommend you use the alternative method because now you're looking at yourself as a loser. And if the stock goes up and down and at the end of the year, after 12 months stays roughly the same or even goes down a little bit, you've just pocketed all that juice every single week. And we're talking about the weeklies here. So I like to look at it, we sold for 15, we bought it back for two, we made a $13 profit. Yeah, the underlying is gonna show it went down, but you know we know that we got, a, we got a protection of $13, let's say. So the next week you just come back and you collect the juice again if it, if it stops going down. But if it keeps going down, let me show you the math on that. So starting at the top here, here are the transactions of what happened. Let's just look at them at, as they go down the list. So we started at the $500 when the stock was at 500. We had sold the 490s and we got $15 for them. But if the stock goes down to 490, we buy back those 490 calls. And we buy them all back, like I mentioned a minute ago, for let's say $2. So at $4.90, here are the two transactions. Here's the roll that you do. You buy them back for $2 and you sell the 480s and you get $15 for them. $10 worth of protection, $5 worth of juice. Make sense? All right. Stock keeps dropping. So the next week, you this, when the stock is at 480, you buy back the 480s. Not the next week. Then it'll be the next day or maybe that day. I've done four rolls in one day on one stock. So now the stock goes to 480. You buy back the 480 calls and then you sell the 470s. You buy them back for two, you get another 15. $10 of protection, $5 of juice. And it keeps going. Stock goes down to 470. Now you're going to buy back your 470s for $2 and you're going to sell the 460s. You see how you've kind of chased it down, but you haven't let it just go down without managing your position, without defending it. You've got to defend your position because now the stock is down $30. And so now you're going to sell the 460s. Let's say it keeps going down and finally it just stays at, you know, 465 or, you know, kind of trends to 460 and by the time expiration comes, you end up buying back those calls for just a little bit of juice, 50 cents but the stock is expiring at 460 and you're gonna roll those and you're gonna to have to buy them back at 50 cents. At some point we have to end this example, right? So here's an example where the stock dropped from 500 to 460, it went down 40 points. Look at the profit you made because you defended your position all the way down. You're gonna go, well, Mark, you know, but my, my base position went down. Okay, if you're gonna look at it like that, which I'm encouraging you not to, and that stock's gonna come back up, that stored value is gonna come back up, and, and then you're gonna have a little bit more trouble accounting for it because your, your screen's gonna show something different. So I like to just look at this offensive side. We took action, we defended our stock, the thing went down $40, but look at us. That's the power of defending our position. So you can't just sit back and go, well, I'm in it for, you know, the, the five, you know, I got, I got the 490s. I'll just sit back and the stock will come back up because a lot of times it doesn't. Maybe it stays at 460 for the next 
two months. Are you going to just sit there without calls and wait for it to go back up to 490? No. The game is cash flow machine. So we sell calls and get the juice every single week. So now at 460, we're going to go do the 450s and you know do the keep doing the same thing or whatever the number is for you. But those are the examples of just selling 10 deep when you roll. So I hope this is making sense. Defending your position is a critical thing because that's where your risk is. When it goes up, you don't really have to do anything. You're collecting that juice at the end of the week. But when it goes down, you have risk. And so you have to protect your risk. Now, I will tell you that this doesn't work 100% of the time. It works when the stock is gradually going down and gyrating. But when it gaps down, which is why we stay out of those four weeks a year of earnings, if it gaps down the next morning and that stock opens down $40, well, you didn't have a chance to roll. You're still gonna roll, but you didn't get to roll all the way down. You're just gonna have one roll in there, and it's gonna show that you've lost some money. You won't have the ability to pocket as much juice and as much protection amount as you would if the stock is, is gradually trending down. So I'm showing you here that even though the stock has gone down, you can still make money. Why? Because every week, we just collect the juice. We just collect the juice. The key takeaway here is that you've got to defend your position when it gets below the strike price. If the stock drops below or near its strike price, you need to roll down and you need to keep rolling down. Be vigilant on the process. Be vigilant on the protection. Remember, protection comes first, juice comes second in the cash flow machine. Hi, Mark Yeager here, Wealth Architect and author of this book on my covered call investing system called The Cash flow machine. Listen, what you just saw is just one part of creating reliable income of two to 4% a month from the stock market. But you know, if it were that easy, then everyone would do it, right? If you want to learn how I create investment income the right way, then you need to learn and have a system with rules and what if strategies so that you can learn what I do when the market goes against me, what I do when the stock goes against me, how to address my trade so that it's always in a winning position, how much to risk, how to build a multi-million dollar portfolio that creates income of 10,000, 20,000, or $30,000 a month in semi-passive income. And best of all, the whole cash flow machine system takes less than an hour a week to implement. Just go to cashflowmachine.io to learn more or click this link for more videos, masterclasses, and free resources. See you there.